right, got my rupees. Call him a link. Was that an outdoor grow bed? <gasps> Ow! How did that even happen? Get out! Anyone else? Anyone else? Did they talk about- wait a s- hold- hold on a second. What? There's no way they didn't see this. What is up, people? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Subnautica. Actually, give me a second. Get off of me. Look, go take a hike. Go take a swim. Go. So, last episode in our playthrough, we took care of the leaks. We took care of the radiation leaks that all seem to be stemming from this, these, these uh, columns inside the drive room of the Aurora. We used this tiny little thing to patch them up. I don't know how that stops radiation. I mean, it was a huge explosion, but you know what? I can't question it. Anyway, today we gotta go back because we have a message waiting for us. We should probably look into building a base. We also gotta make a Cyclops. There's a lot of stuff we gotta do before we continue. There's a lot more in this game. If you guys are still excited to see some more Subnautica, let me know in the comment section below and let's continue. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I totally forgot. We got our friend stuck down here. Oh wait, he might be fixed. Oh, he's fixed. Okay, which means he's loose. The juice is loose. All right, so we got to be super careful. We got some storage, so I'm just going to... Let's just uh, try to bypass it. Wherever in the world it might be. Hello? <laughs> we haven't really had an encounter with it just yet. Hello? Okay. It doesn't look like it's ar around here. Shut up. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. I'm gone. All right. Cool. Oh! No. Wait, what? Okay. I am about to say, there ain't no way you see me. <sighs> All right, so second Officer Keen's last broadcast. We should probably go to that, too, at some point. Uh, let's go back to the escape pod first. Hopefully, I'll find another time capsule over here. Oh! Goodness, no! 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 <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, my God! No, I don't like it! Stop, dude. I hate the shadows. Ugh, take it and run. This Seamoth needs something to defend itself with. I know I get that stuff later in the game, but it's just not enough. You guys know what you need in this game, but they'll never provide it to you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I was just enjoying the view and you pop up. Also, let's take a moment. Let's just take a moment to congratulate the developers. Holy crap, what a successful game launch i think there's an upwards of like two three million owners something crazy i didn't see the details but it's absolutely insane the launch live stream was great if you guys haven't seen that too i'll link it down in the description below it is saved to youtube so hello it was pretty fun they pushed a big red button everyone was excited good times all right let's check out the message hello this is Sunny. yes you know aurora we're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Hey, thank you. So these guys are coming to save me, huh? Coming to, coming to give me the old save? Save and a half. Okay, so, uh, crap. What should we do first? Oh, we need to go. We need to go check out the. Where's the, uh, oh, wait, did I not? I already went there, didn't I? I may not have. No, I did not. All right, let's go there first. All right, so this is suck. Okay, 300 meters. We can do this. That's why we got that upgrade. I should have put, uh, I should have put some stuff away. See, this is why I have storage. Uh, so I'll eat some food, drink some water, put all these batteries away. I got so many of them. There you go. Thanks for holding all my stuff, babe. I need to give you a name. We never really get, oh, we did. It's the, uh, the, the McFloaty, right? <laughs> the McFloatster. It was something to do with floaty. I think it was the IG floaty. No, it was the pro floater. That's right. Anyway, so we, ooh, the music, the officials. This game is so cool. Oh no, this, this place, ah, oh, wreck, yes, wreck. I need to make sure I scan all the necessities too. Oh, I need to make myself a rebreather. I really got to do that. Oh, look, a thermal plant. Hey, 50%. Cool. 
Cool. That's going to be useful depending on my base location. Throw a plant. Perfect. <gasps> Wait, what are you? Prawn suit torpedo arm fragment. Let's go. Get some of these arms for the prawn suit, which we already have unlocked because we are golden. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. Holy crap. Yeah, I need to, I need to make a rebreather. Uh, so this isn't a legit, is it a legit wreck? It's got to be an entrance. Oh, there is. Hello. Modification. Do I, ha I have this one, right? Yeah, there we go. Cool. I'm going to need that thing to make some cool stuff like the repulsion cannon. Oh, look, sealed door. I got you. Man, I am cutting oxygen like crazy. 39, 36, 33. Okay. It's like three seconds per one. 30 seconds. No, that's fine. I got this first. Maybe. I might die. Holy crap. Please don't let me die again. Ow. This place is too difficult. What do we got? Ooh. 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 Power cell charger fragment. Going to need that too. Okay. I think that is it. Any upgrades in here I can take? Nope. All right. Sounds good. Let's get out of here. Ah. <sighs> La da da dee. Shut up. I'm going to make it. I don't need you to constantly remind me. Holy crap. My, uh, my <laughs> thing's about to die. Mr. Seamoth, please don't explode. Look, I can't lose you. All right. Took a lot to get you out here. I need you to stay alive and alert, please. Is it down here? Hello? It is down here. Stop it. It's already scary. See, that's one of the beautiful things about Subnautica. It's actually funny to see people commenting saying, oh, he's scared of everything or oh, he's acting. It's like the game is really unnerving. It's terrifying. Even if you know what's going to happen, even if you know what is in a certain place, it still rattles your nerves. When it comes to ambiguity and the unknown, fighting fear or overcoming that fear is very hard to do because it's instinctual fear. It's protective fear. It's like, I don't know what's behind me. I don't know what it is. I need to be alert. I need to be nervous. I need to be, I need to have adrenaline pumping through my body so I can react properly. Like if you immerse yourself in a game like this, you would feel the same thing too. Oh, wait, what are you? Wait, there's stuff. There's stuff. Shale, diamond. Yes. Uh, Ruby. Okay. PDA. Hello. Ah, voice log, so we can listen to that, right? Keen, this is Aurora, come in. This is Keen. Light pod detached, okay, planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain! <sighs> Holy crap. <laughs> so I'm just, that was the Aurora crashing down. That is nuts. I don't like that at all. See, again, reading this versus actually hearing it <sighs> disturbing. Ultra high capacity tank. Let's go. I think I need the modification station for that, but we got that too. He's doing so good. What? What? Another signal? Oh, we got a call. We got communication briefly. Uh, to all crew, if you are reading this, then you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by this life pod's onboard computer. Contrary to my orders, I've been forced to evacuate. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates at the nearest landmass. I hope to see you there. Okay, so this is going to bring us right up here. So we actually should go back. Oh, there's a lot of stuff down here. I should probably collect. Do I have enough room? I got plenty of room. Let's let's collect some of these rupees quickly now. Rupee. Since I may not see a lot of these real soon, or I will, but it's nice to have them. Oh, Reginald. Yes. Come here. Discovered. No, I know. Reginalds are great, dude. They give me lots of food. I should keep a few of them just in case I want to make a base. I could put them in the aquarium. They could mate. I can have a whole bunch. It'll be good. All right. Got my rupees. Call my link. I'm going up. Getting out of here. Let's go. Straight up. And it's nighttime, so that's fantastic. I will see you guys in just a moment. All right. Message. Play. 
This is life pod 7. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Wait. Signal coordinates corrupted. Oh. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Whoa, what is this? Life pod 7 transmission origin. A distress signal is received life pod 7. Isn't that the same? Officer Keen, no. Okay, so Officer Keen was live pod 19. All right, distress signal has been blah, 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 blah. Corrupted last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Crew reported problems with the onboard fabricator. Sunk to 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity. I was just there. Oh, wait, that's the, uh, that's the crag field. Okay, I'll find that one. Actually, you know what? That might be where the Markiplier doll is. Markiplier! All right, so fiber mesh and a wiring kit. Will get us what we need for the rebreather. Bam! We are good to go. Did I ever make a builder? I don't think I made a builder yet. <laughs> that would have been helpful. I right, went ahead and made another locker. Because I need some place to store some stuff. Man, I carry a lot of stuff on me, don't I? Holy crap. Eventually, I'm going to need to make a base so I can get the ultra high capacity tank. For now, I think, uh, I think we're good. Rendezvous point! All right, I'll see you guys there. Aha! The island. This is called the Floater Island, for those who don't know. Uh, I got another message. Crap. The reason why is there are these giant floaters that are literally holding up this entire thing. Do you see this? It's ridiculous. Park it and let's go. All right, well, welcome to dry land. Uh, you know, we've already been to dry land before, so this is not... Energy signatures on the island's surface. Are you now? By the way, people were saying, Oh, the bubble tree! You don't have any more of those! What? I got them right here, dude. Seriously. People were complaining that I threw it away and I'm not gonna have infinite resources. The point of that time capsule was to say that they were saying their goodbye to the tree that they're gonna miss it. Not that it was being removed from a game or anything. I don't know what y'all talk. Y'all on some... You guys be on some stuff, as the cool kids say. You guys be on some sh Oh, there's actually a PDA. Hello. Whee! <laughs> Abandoned PDA. Rendezvous voice log. Let me guess. New PDA. We have to board the Aurora, repair the long-range comms, make contact with the other survivors. We can't be the only two that made it. Those are not the orders the captain gave me, and they are not the orders I'm giving you. This isn't chain of command, it's survival. My obligations as acting commander don't turn on their convenience. Get out of the water. If I get into trouble, I'll send you my coordinates. I can't let you go alone. Then come with me. You don't leave me much choice. Received emergency transmission from second officer Keen, two hours after last activity. Rendezvous was a failure. Intercepted a transmission from Altera HQ. Seems they sent a data package to the Aurora. We were intercepted by a Leviathan-class predator before we could reach the ship. Consider the CTO and I lost at sea. Be safe. Keen, out. Poor Keen. See, a lot of people were um, bringing up the question of, like, why are we the only survivor of the Aurora? It's such a big ship. Someone probably... I mean, there are other people that lived, as you can see. It's just that by the time we could interact with them at all, uh, they're dead. They also got into their escape pods when the, the place crashed. What I'm interested in is to find out my relation to them. I don't know if I've been... If I'm a rookie, I don't know how long I could have possibly known these people. Does it matter to my character? I need some kind of emotional investment other than my own. Like, I developed my own idea of what kind of investment my character should have. Therefore, I'm like, oh, this, this affects me. But it may not at all. Maybe I hated everyone there. Maybe my character didn't like any of them. Maybe they were all to me. So, therefore, I don't care. You know? Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe my guy feels like he should just make home here because they don't like it. So, he feels like he should do the opposite. You never know, man. Oh, I should scan this stuff. Yeah. Marble melon. Now, I'm going to have to keep you. The marble melon is the most important thing you could possibly keep on a grow bed. So, I'm going to take that. There we go. We got some seeds. You back off. God. Oh, wait, no. The wrong wrong one. Oh, that's gone, isn't it? Was that an outdoor grow bed? Ow! How did that even happen? Get out! Anyone else? Anyone else? God, what are you? Your spotlight. Okay. Giveth here. 
Oh. Right. Hello. An artifact. Multi-purpose room. Now we can get a nice base going. So I hope I got that, <laughs> that grow bed. I should probably check after this. Because that's going to be very important for me to have. Exterior grow bed. I need an interior grow bed, right? Or uh, you might be... Uh, okay, I got it. I got it. We're good. We're good. Don't worry about it, man. We're good. Ah, so now we get to hear about the Degassi. So if, if you don't know about the Degassi... If you guys haven't seen... Also, by the way, launch was amazing for the game because they revealed the cinematic trailer, which I feel like I should have been promoting the hell out of in the beginning of this video. Anyway, cinematic trailer is amazing. And I believe for the first time we get a an actual look at the Degassi ship. So for those who don't know about the Degassi, they are they're part of that cinematic trailer. That's who's talking at the beginning, and that's the first uh, ship that crashes down onto this planet. And their story plays out, and I'll let you guys hear them as I collect them. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Uh, part of another hmm? ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't going to find out by staying here. All right, so we just unlocked the bulkhead. Another PDA. Voice log number two. So these are going to be kind of out of order, but you can kind of piece them together. Just think of it as a uh, as a Tarantino film, right? Think of it as Pulp Fiction. You got to piece it together in your mind. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're going to be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bart, Torgo. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. All right, who is this? Paul Torgel? Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Mida salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. Yeah, imagine that. Can you imagine being trapped here for years? Oh. Oh. 250 meters. Okay, cool. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. 
Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. We take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep. Lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials? Like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. <laughs> I love his accent. Makes him seem more... Oh boy! <clears throat> Makes him seem more in charge. Oh crap. Okay, where's the path I just lost? Fantastic. Oh my god. I'm the worst, dude. Where am I? Okay, this this looks about right. I think I was here already. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I'm trying to go up here to this base because we get a lot of good parts for the base up here. As long as I don't fall. All these plants, and I have no idea what half of them do, nor do I believe that they're necessary. I think they're just decorative and give a little bit of the lore of the planet. Here we go. We're inside. What are you? Oh, marble melon. Okay. Observatory. Okay, cool. And what an observatory this is. Nice placement. Top of this mountain, dude. You had your kid up here? Dang. What are you? Do gassy voice. Okay. Listen to that. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight maider, but I've made my decision. You wanna forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Such a fool. Such a foolish decision. Like, it's it just... Whoa. Right. It makes the most sense uh, what Paul's saying, that you should probably not go down deep where there's predators. Yeah, maybe you can defend yourself because you're a badass mercenary, but uh, I, th I still think that's kind of stupid because what you could do is what I do. Right? You, you, you go on an adventure to collect resources. Okay? Better to slightly experience the predators when you have to to get resources than to live with them. You're dumb. Nothing about what you're proposing is smart. All right. Bart Torgles, number three. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. My father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. Huh? It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. So that is, for those who haven't seen the, uh, the trailer, those are the lines that are read during the trailer, which is amazing. Also, I'm sorry if my audio randomly cuts out. I just switched to Windows 10 and it's been a horrendous experience. All right, so we got some cool information. We got some good blueprints. This island is amazing. I think I might be missing one or two PDAs. I'm going to take a quick look around. I don't want to miss too much of the story. For the Degassi, because I really think it's interesting to have uh, previous survivor tales being told to us as we're trying to survive, too. Kind of gives us hope that we could survive seeing these bases and stuff, and then it kind of takes it away when it's like, uh, spoiler, they're all dead. <laughs> if you couldn't... How the hell do I get back out? There we go. Yeah, spoiler, they're all dead. In the last one, he he read that, that... Uh, yeah, despite my best efforts, uh, Margaret and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet, which means, obviously, they're, they're dead, which is, is pretty sad. Also, some information on them. Uh, I believe that Paul is super Oh, oh, yes! Right! Never mind, we're not done with this place just yet. 
How did they not find this? They found this, right? Did they talk about- Wait a s- Hold- Hold on a second! Did they talk about this? What? There's no way they didn't see this. This is so easily accessible. Oh boy. So again, for me, I know what this is. If you if you aren't familiar, and I'm doing my best to not spoil it for you guys. Imagine coming across this for the first time. You see the artifact you pick up, which kind of resembles this as well. If we look at it, ancient alien tablet with a purple symbol. And then we look at this, an alien arc. And we'll look at it. It says, the structure's intended purpose is unclear. Theories on function, ceremonial or religious role, industrial applications, or advanced transportation network. Assessment further research is required. This is pretty dope. But I'm actually incredibly surprised that they didn't mention this. Did they mention this? They were just that oblivious to what was right in front of them? I mean, they sure as hell didn't build that. We all know that. Maybe I'm missing a PDA. I'll take a look around the, the island real quick. Okay, I think that's it. I don't think there are any other PDAs. If there are, let me know. For now, we gotta go. Where's the... Oh, yeah. The proposed... The gassy habitat. Okay, so beneath us is a very important area. Beneath us is a very important area, but we are not ready to go there just yet. We gotta go over here. Following the Degassi. Oh, look at... I need a base. I definitely need a base. I think we got a message. Yeah, we did. Hello. High priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate very <laughs> detail. I, uh, yeah, I feel like you, uh, I feel like you're not going to be of, uh, much help. Yeah, I'm going to really need, let me get a builder. Let me just start a base. Uh, I'll put is some lockers and stuff in it. We need a builder. So I need a wiring kit and a computer chip. So I need two silver, gold, copper wire, and table coral. Okay. I think I have copper down here. Nope. Dang it, man. I got to get some resources. Hang on a second. Wiring kit and computer chip. Cool. Yeah. So there's actually some sandstone in the deep caves right below me. So, oh, ooh. I could do advanced wiring kit. Let's go. How did I just by making a wiring kit? Wait, I've made both of these, right? Oh, maybe it was just for the computer chip. Oh, and two gold and I can make one. Nice. But let's just make the builder. Habitat builder. We're going to need some titanium. I'm just going to throw together the quickest base I possibly can. Yes, excellent. I'm going to make uh, some interior, interior grow bed, hopefully. So I need six titanium. I don't think I have any stored away, do I? Uh, I can't put a floor. I might be able to. You know what? I probably can. I probably can put a floor bed in there. Oh, I'm going to need some... Freaking, ah. So quartz and some titanium. Right away, master. I'm gonna bring that stuff back, master. Don't you worry, master. Oh, this music. Oh, this music. All right, let's make this hatch real quick. Ah, oh, Subnautica is such a good game. Jesus Christ, Subnautica is such a good game. No, I know. I'm just gonna build this stuff real quick. Hold on a second. Interior grow bed. Come on. Oh, no. I really can't. Uh, oh, I got the wall thing, right? The wall one? The wall planter. I can't put it there either. Oh, Bob Saget. All right, we just need some more titanium, which we have. It's fine, man. I got another message. This better not be Quinn. All right. Quinn? Aurora, yep. we're approaching the planet. Now. Oh, no. We have a landing site for you that's, well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. No. It'll I'm take not us ready a couple for this. days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Okay. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Yep. All right. Well, I'll be busy. Um, but it'll be fine. We're going to get rescued, right? It's not even going to be a problem. All right. Uh, multi purpose room. Right there. There we go. That's fine. We're going to need some power, too. I forgot about that. <laughs> Hatch. Perfecto. What do we need for that, actually? So, copper, titanium, and quartz. Let's go find some stuff real quick. Okay. One solar panel should do it for now. So this will be in here. And I will plant all the things like the lantern fruit, uh, which I've put away. But I'll put the marble melons down. Those will grow. And I can break them apart for four seeds. And then you come in here. And we'll plant two of those. I think they'll take up a whole quarter of this, right? Yeah, that's fine. But those will grow. Excellent. All right. And then we can build. Then we can build a locker. 
which I need two more titanium for. Are you kidding me? All right. So they'll grow. I will make a locker. Or maybe two. Let's make two lockers. Yeah, because we can afford it. Now, this is just a temporary base. Don't worry. This is not a permanence. I'll be building elsewhere once I get the resources to do so. So I'm going to transfer all this stuff over real quick and uh, we'll be on our way. Oh, what is it for an aquarium? Two glass and a titanium? I should put some Reginald in there, right? That would be the smart thing to do. I, I don't really need it, I guess, since I'm going to have infinite plants, but wouldn't be a bad idea. All right. Well, that is everything from the life pod and all my lockers and my Seamoth stored away. I also have this guy set up. Oh, look at your good little Reginald. I'll get them just in case, you know, because I can cook them and eat them at any time in case I run out of these, which I don't think I have ever done in my experience of playing this game. It's always been I've had enough just from this. So we'll see how it goes. I'm all set up. I think I got another message, which I will listen to real quick. Yes, I do. Hello. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Whoa. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission. Oh, this is the one. Recorded to date to okay, yeah, this is the one I, I already went to, so I don't need to go to that one again. Which I'm assuming that's why. Well, it's not gonna. It says it were corrupted, so that's fine. Oh, this guy too. See, I've been to this one. All right, so we got 25 minutes until the sunbeam is coming to rescue us. So we're going to be definitely okay until then. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it here, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section below all your tips and suggestions and whether or not you would like to see some more. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.